Uh, it's so frustrating, this whole lockdown situation. Yeah, you know, I don't have PhDs in medicine, in, <laughs> in viral disease, or in economics, or in sociology. I don't claim expertise in any of these things, and yet I can still be frustrated with everything relating to those subjects. I, I'm worried about the world. I'm worried about my country. I'm worried about my neighbors. I'm, <laughs> I'm worried about the repercussions of shutting everything down the way we have. It, it really reminds me of the Dark Knight. It reminds me of the Joker. Like, I'll, I'll show you these people. They'll eat each other <laughs> when the social fabric decays a little bit. I mean, you, you deprive people of work for long enough and stuff hits the fan. It's, it's not good. Uh, people who can't pay their bills, who can't afford food, it doesn't lead to a good situation. Are we there right now? Arguably in some places, but I'm not in those places. I don't see it. All I get is hearsay from news outlets. Like, here's a protest. Here's a riot. And, hmm, are we there? Like, are we? <laughs> are cars being overturned in the streets because people can't afford food? I don't know. I don't know. But if you keep things locked down long enough, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Are I've watched way too many apocalyptic movies. I'm like, when are we going to start breaking into people's houses? Like, ah, that's, <laughs> hey, that's not happening, right? Comment down below if that is happening. <laughs> and, and B, I do not want that. Like, can we not get to that point, please? And on top of that, like moving away from, from structural decay of society, <laughs> because of a shutdown economy for long enough. Uh, is this disease as deadly as they've made it out to be? You watch news on either side of the spectrum and it's not of the political spectrum and it's not A, consistent, but B, it's like completely different channels. One side of things discusses like, when can we reopen and What's the best course for everyone involved? And the other side is like, dear God, there's blood in the street. Everyone's eyes are bleeding. <laughs> Stay inside or you'll explode. And I'm like, wow, that's fair and unbiased. I can't watch this anymore. Um, and then like some news reports like, we have a doctor here today who's been doing studies. And, and the doctor says that the, the fatality rate of this disease is under 1%. And then the next channel is like, fatality rate, 90,000%. <laughs> Someone read the word COVID-19. They exploded. I Even the CDC's website, this part of the website says that 20,000 deaths have occurred due to COVID-19 here in the U.S., this part of the website says 54,000. Now, this part of the website says that these numbers are roughly two weeks behind, but it's just COVID-19 deaths that are counted. And then there's other columns for uh, deaths involving pneumonia, influenza. And then, then there's even a column for or sections. OK, so they're like here, COVID-19, influenza, <laughs> um, COVID-19 and the influenza and then COVID-19 or influenza. I was like, oh, crap. This is that Venn diagram from elementary school where they were like, there's 20 people in the class, 13 like vanilla, 14 like chocolate. How many people like both? You're like, I knew I would have to know how to do that later in life. <laughs> So now we got to do math problems at home to find out how deadly this disease actually is. And <laughs> I guess, great, great. So uh, it's frustrating because the website that I would trust the most, I would actually trust the CDC website more, has conflicting numbers. And the, the reconciliation of those two numbers the 20 and the 50,000 
and they're not very accurate in this video. Please go look up numbers yourself. I'm probably not up to date. Maybe I'm wrong altogether. It's for the sake of what I'm saying. <sighs> Why aren't those consistent? Why aren't those numbers consistent? Am I am I missing some subtitle? Am I missing like the fine print? Where it's like this is the number from two weeks ago and the number over here on this page is the most accurate. Or, and they all include the probably COVID-19, the maybe COVID-19, the speculated number of COVID-19. And I'm like, this is such crap. So if you were in a hospital and you know there's going to be some kind of record keeping that leads to funding in some way, if there was any indication at all that you had someone infected, you'd mark the checkbox, yes, COVID-19, because your department's going to get more money later. Because later they're going to be like, oh, we need more relief aid funding. We can do more um, asking of the community for donations, all of it, because we were affected by this many COVID-19 patients. I do not trust the numbers coming out of hospitals because I understand how that, that supply logistics issue is going to turn out. I understand human nature. You, We are a whiny bunch right now. You're like, oh, my life is so bad. Your life is bad. My life is even worse. My life is worse still. Like, So, of course, everyone working right now is going to be like, yeah, I had to deal with 200 COVID-19 patients. Oh, I had to dress up in a thousand layers of concrete to deal with my 400 patients. Like, <laughs> So, can you really trust these numbers coming from the hospitals? Of course not. Like, can you trust anything you see on the news? Especially if it's a main media outlet. Like, of course not. And because I'm clearly inept at reading, <laughs> I can't even trust the numbers on the CDC website. So that, all that together, that's frustrating. I did not realize how stir crazy you go staying in one house. And mine is a one bedroom apartment. So, I mean, whew. see, I just did the same thing. Like, oh, yours is bad, but I did not realize how stir crazy you go. In one place. I did not. I did not realize that. I am handling it much better than a lot of others. And still, there's like this. I went to work last week, and it was so good to just go into a new environment for a little while. It's crazy how how much staying in one place affects you. I I had no idea what cabin fever felt like. Or maybe I did and I forgot. Who knows? So that's been a bit of a frustration. Anything else? I'm just that's all this video is. Frustrations due to lockdown. And, you know, the cause of the lockdown. What are all the frustrations? I just want to get them out there. Do you relate to any of these? Do Do you think I'm being ridiculous by being frustrated by any of these? Are there real frustrations that I've missed that you're like, hey, you forgot about the you know, giant giraffes that are running around squashing people in the streets? You know, whatever it is, let me know. Let me know, because there's a lot to be frustrated with in this time. And at the same time, maybe there's reasons not to be frustrated. Hmm. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> I hope your day is going well. I hope you're safe. And I hope that this all works out. Honestly, economically. I, I'm i frustrated that we're not listening to each other. You know what I mean? I, I, I feel weird saying the word economically. <laughs> like, I hope this works out economically. And now I'm, I'm like, oh shit, I've made myself a target. These bleeding heart people are going to come by and be like, you don't care about others. What? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying what I'm saying because I care about others. Like, uh, You can't just shut things down and expect things to be okay. And on the other hand, like, I don't want grandma to die. <laughs> I 
maybe a little morbid. <laughs> I just, I, I think that phrasing is hilarious. It's like, don't you care about the elderly? Of course, what the heck? Of course I do. What are you talking about? And that elderly person needs to be able to get access to food. So if they go to the store and certain things are gone because of people showing up at 6 a.m. and hoarding everything, that's it's a little crazy. But stores reacted wonderfully to this as well. So, hmm. Hmm. thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Ugh. Get the frustrations out. Go rant about it in your car. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> See you around. Then if I may, I know that you found a place you want to be, and it's here with me.